Today we create an elegant slide animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this slide animation in After Effects which is actually inspired from one of the video hive template which I'll show you guys pretty quickly that is this one the elegant sliding opener by pixel art studios by pixel yes the by pixar studios and I found this you know elegant opener really interesting cause if I show you guys you can see it starts with you know kind of a curvy shape and ends up with a thin line if I just play it for you guys you can see and I found this thing really interesting you know uh, and I found a way to create uh, this animation in my way actually so yep here I am sharing with you guys and I hope you enjoy it so yeah without any further ado let's get straight into the video and get started all right so here I am in After Effects so let's start as always by creating a new composition you know the drill so let's rename this to main comp 1920 1080 30 frames 10 seconds let's make it and hit ok there we go and let's create a new composition for our image so let's name this as image and hit ok and just drag in our image now you can use any kind of image that you want and drag in the main Im the image comp into our main composition something like that then I'm going to create a new composition for creating those shapes that is the mat. So I'm going to rename this to mat and hit OK. So in this composition, I'm going to create the shape animation that, you know, kind of a circular looking thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid. Doesn't matter which color it is. You can just rename this to anything that you want. I'm just going to rename this to a one and let's make this something like that. Doesn't really matter which color it is. And then I'm going to add an effect called polar coordinates. And what this effect allows you to do is, if I just set this to 100, you can see it helps us to create something like that, but we don't really want that. So we can just set this to rectangular to polar. So now we have something like that. And I, you guys must have guessed it already that I'm going to be animating this thing. And that is how that effect is created. So let's so let me go ahead and show you guys pretty quick. So it's pretty simple, nothing really you know difficult to create. So I'm gonna go to let's say one second and ten frame, and, and I'm gonna set this to hundred. Create a keyframe for interpolation. Hit you so we can see the keyframe. Let's go back in time, and let's create one more key keyframe. Then go to the keyframe that we previously created, and just set this to zero. So now we have a basic simple animation, something like that. But I'm going to also animate the position. So let's say at maybe one sec, let's go to 20 frames. Select the layer and hit P to bring down the position properties. And I'm going to set this at the very center or halfway up, just like so somewhere around there so we have something like that so let's create a keyframe on the position and also I'm going to create a keyframe on the scale so hit U and let's dra drag the position keyframe right over here then go back in time I'm going to scale this down to let's say maybe around 40 percent and just bring this out just like that so now we should have something like that as you can see so let's select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease them, go to graph editor, select this handles, points and just drag it holding shift and control just drag it all the way. So now we should have something like that, really simple to create, you see. Um, this is the base of our animation. So let's go into our main composition where we have our image comp already. Let's drag in our matte composition on the top of image 
and let's set the image track mat to alpha mat. And now here we have that really cool looking, you know, slide animation. But you can see we have some problem right over there at the edges. So we can just fix this by going right over here. Just playing around with the scale. Maybe I'll just set the scale keyframe, bring this down to 15 maybe. And that should fix it. Yep, that is looking really good. And then what I can do is I can just select these layers, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's make them red so we can just identify it pretty easily. And then what I can do is I can select the mat, hit R to bring down the rotation properties and just rotate it by 180 degrees right over there. And now we have this really cool looking effect. As you can see, it's really simple to create nothing that difficult. Or maybe I'll just move the mat a little bit just to fix this line. There we go. You can see it looks really cool and really simple to create. To make it look more better, what I can do is I can just select these layers and I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. Let's make them, well, let's, what I can do is actually hit Control Z and pre-comb this. This is gonna be our bottom layer. So let's name this bottom. I hope those are bottom layers, yep. And this is gonna be our top layer. So let's rename this to top. And now what I can do is I can hit Control D to duplicate it, the top and the bottom, both of them. And this is the copy of the duplicate of the main layers, not duplicate, and set this to red. And I want to display this a little bit, just like that. Select the bottom layer, or um, I mean the second layer, and add a fill. So now we have something like that. You can change it to any color that you want. I'm gonna set this to white. So now we have something like this. You can see, you can just you know select this, hit Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it and just drag it a bit closer. We don't need that much of a difference. Maybe a bit more, something like that. And you can see it looks really, really cool. And it's really easy to create, nothing that difficult as you can see. And you can use this with any kind of shape and any kind of position. You can even rotate it just like I showed you in my second example that I showed you. So it's really simple to create. So let's go ahead and add our text. So to do that, what I can do is just type in our text, whatever you want to go with. I'm gonna type in elegant. This is going to be our first text. Let's make this maybe 80. Just align this in the center, make it white, so a complete white, something like that. Maybe I'll make it a bit more big like that. And then what I can do is, I'm gonna go right over there, hit P to bring down the position properties, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, go back in time to somewhere around there, bring this down just like that. Select the keyframes, hit F9 to ease them, go to graph editor, and just maybe I'll tweak this a little bit, just like that. So we have something like this. And now what I can do is I can select the top layer right over there hit control d and use it as a mat for our text so you can just drag it above our text you can see nothing really changed but set the track mat to alpha inverted or alpha mat i guess yep alpha mat and now we have something like this you can see really simple to create so maybe i'll just tweak the keyframes a little bit just like that as you can see and it is really simple to create nothing really difficult but I thought that this technique is really really helpful so I thought of sharing with you guys and I hope this helps you so I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and I'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to stay raw stay creative